Good morning. Oh, I'm just dead. I'm literally dead. And good morning, everyone. Um, I'm kind of losing my voice and have also got a bit of a cold. Um, I'm hoping it's not fresh as flu, and I'm hoping it's just like a normal cold that will pass if I have medicine. Um, yeah, welcome to week one. I hope you enjoyed the Freshers Week vlog as much as I vlogged of it. Um, so, at the end of the last video, I probably left off where I had just started doing the reading of an essay. I am now in the process of beginning to potentially write that essay. I have a little bit of reading left. This essay is due tomorrow at 12 p.m. Um, reading is usually the longest part of writing an essay. The writing part is usually the quickest part because once you understand what you need to get down on paper, it's a lot easier. Yeah, so I've just gotten up, I'm going to eat something, and then I'm going to start working on this essay. But yeah, I hate being ill. I feel so, like, ugh, like, heavy head. I feel like I have a bit of a fever. So I might take, like, the cold and flu medicine, or just take paracetamol, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to have to get to this essay now, so I will see you guys in a bit. <laughs> So this week's essay was looking at what it meant for something to be a cause and different theories of causation. So we were looking at counterfactual theories and did the deductive nominological account, which was saying that either you might need to take the current instance and then relate it to some sort of law, or you can talk about um, a counterfactual relationship between a cause and effect and then describe it that way. So yeah, it was pretty interesting, but I needed to take a break and so Andre and I went to get dinner. Hey Andre, who are you texting? Cousin. Is that the one you just bumped into? No, 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 oh. no that's, that's um, my cousin, because he's my cousin's friend. Oh, so you're messaging the yeah, cousin, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Tell him what an ass I made myself. Um, Andre just bumped into someone in the street and didn't recognise them for like a solid like 15 seconds and was staring at their face, and then he did. Um, he's... <laughs> Oh, so we just came out for lunch and now I have to head back to the library and finish this essay. I don't know how I'm going to finish it. Figure it out. Now you're probably wondering why I'm like all formally dressed and that's because I had to leave the library even though I'm in the middle of an essay crisis to go to a networking event. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But yeah, I'm about to leave and go to a networking event but it's in a restaurant like right next to college. So I'm about to leave. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end and I'll tell you about it later. Bye. You guys, I honestly feel so dead. I don't know how I've caught fresh as flu for the third year in a row. <laughs> I know that I could have emailed the tutor. Tutors at Oxford, on the whole, are generally quite understanding. If you are unwell or if you need some extra time for an essay, they're more than happy to give you that extra time. That's the whole point of having tutorial. It's so individual that they can move things around. Um, but yeah, I, it was the first time I had this tutor and it was my first essay for this course. So I really didn't want to make a bad impression and ask for an extension or anything. So I stayed up till not the best hour, um, just trying to type out the crux of my essay. So as I was recording yesterday, my ba my memory, I ran out of memory on my camera, which doesn't usually happen, but did. Why am I not focusing? I just sent my essay in, thank God for that. But on the other side of things, my flu and cold or whatever has just gotten worse. 
and it's not fun and not nice. So I'd go to Westgate because I need to return this Uniqlo jumper. I bought and get a different colour because I don't really like this colour now that I'm thinking about it. I also need to pick up the order from River Island. But I'm just so happy that's done a such bad essay. I literally was so bad. I literally paraphrased most of it. I rarely had any of my own opinions, which is not what you're supposed to do in philosophy. You're really supposed to give your own opinion. But whatever. Hey. Hi, guys. Guess who I met for lunch? This was really impromptu, or I would have told you before. But she was like, who's free for lunch? And I was literally leaving college at that point. And I, I was like, yay. Yes, I had to. It had to be done. We always do mandos, which is just wild. But yeah, yeah we're here. Welcome back to our channel. Woo. Hi. And we're going to make a pack on camera, on screen, yeah. that we're going to meet up a lot more. Yeah. There we go. We can't just now you've like, seen do it. these random once in a while. So we actually need to schedule each other in, make each other Into feel my bullet journal. <laughs> important. Are you still the president? No, I just finished. How was that? It's so <laughs> it's good. Bad. It's done. I'm so happy. And I kind of love the president who's after me, so I'm like, really happy with the general. She's amazing, so I'm just like... Wow, so what do you do in your time now? Uh, I have final, I'm a finalist. I have final oh. commissions, so like... I'm a second it, year. I have quite a lot of time on my hands. I have, like, no time. I only have one essay a week, but I have so much revision to do. I have so much other stuff to do that... I can't relate. Can't relate. Yeah, give it a year. You know what? I'm chilling as a master student, and you're going to be on, like, finals. Are you going to do master's? Probably. Here? Yeah. Like, because it's just continue. You don't apply again. Oh. You just stay on. Just might as well. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get to our meal, so we'll see you guys a bit. Bye! Bye. So, I had the BS in, um, it's done, and now, um, you might be able to see my room's a bit of a tip. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna clear that up now. Um, sort my life out um, see what I'm doing. I have subject dinner today which is um, basically dinner with all the first to fourth years of studying maths and comp with drinks by tutors and then dinner um, but I actually have another networking event to go to before that I know I'm such a corporate set up but like whatever um, so yeah I'm gonna clean up now So guess who I came for coffee with? <laughs> when did we last go for coffee? <laughs> like two days ago. So I was just telling Lucy about this documentary that I saw about like the environmental effects of fashion and how it, how like one pair of jeans has like 16, used like 16,000 gallons of water in producing the coffin to make it and it was quite amazing. So if you guys were in the UK and you're a BBC iPlayer, player, definitely check it out because I'm kind of like mind blown right now and feel the need to tell Lucy, but yeah. How's your day been? How's your day been? Have you done anything of note? Ah, which company was that with? It was, they had speakers from OCG. I think so. And, so I left that networking event too late. It was that point in a conversation where you can't leave the conversation because you're talking to someone, but I had to go. So the moment there was an awkward pause, like, very nice meeting you and ran. So now I have to run home because I'm so late. Hopefully they saved me a place. Well, I kind of wish I hadn't said no dairy now. Because I guess I'm going to get food. So I had a bit of an early start today, I've spent most of my day just editing um, because I need to edit the Freshers Week vlog which hopefully will go up today, I'm like halfway through editing, I'm going to go grab some food and then I have to start, so come to network events that I've been to, um, I need to send applications into those companies and the deadline's coming up so I thought I'd work on those today, um, but yeah, I have my, I have um, a careers event thing at 2 which is with a career service. Um, I have a, I'm meeting Catherine co for coffee at four for a catch up. I'm seeing a Sikh society for a meeting at five and then I have a tutorial at six. So pretty busy day, but the morning's quite free. So I'm going to use it to just edit because I really need to. Also guys, um, this view is just insane. I kind of love it. It's not like the best view in Oxford, but I still love it. But yeah, 
Okay, I am going to now head. Um, I think I have a coffee obsession. I'm starting to realise I do need to get some coffee. Uh, but I was got a cold. If someone knows what to do with about a runny nose, help, because I really don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go now. So, yeah, this is probably going to be really random after the last clip you saw yesterday morning, but I was super ill, didn't really get a chance to vlog, and had a tutorial, and then there was lots of meetings and stuff, so yeah, ignore my shitty vlogging abilities. But yeah, I just came out for breakfast, that brunch with Eve. He's looking dead. <laughs> yeah. I've been awake for like, maybe like an hour. Eve went to Park End last night, so the fact that you're up at this hour is quite incredible. She went to a lecture. She, like, people still do those things. <laughs> oh. Dedication. How are you finding it so far? Fucking love it. It's no, great. Okay. I'm bad. I've got so much work to do, but I somehow don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy it. I feel like if you enjoy the first week, that's probably the most chaotic. Yeah. After that, everything will become a bit more. Mellow. I've got lots of free time. In oh, the, like, I can I can plan my time how I need to plan my time. So. Good. I'm bad. But yeah, we just we just. What did you order? A cabbie's breakfast. <laughs> lots of potatoes. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always order this like banoffee pancakes thing, but they've kind of taken it off the menu. But she said she could still make it because now it's on the dessert menu. So trust what I eat for breakfast to be on the dessert menu. <laughs> I love that. But yeah. I've always been a savoury gal, not a big, not a big uh, sweet person. I eat way too much sweet stuff. Fair enough. But yeah, okay. We're going to eat soon and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye. Bye. I went to see Jo Malone, I got to be in the meet and greet and actually talk to her and her husband, who are just lovely people. Um, and she was so inspirational. She like started her own company um, and then sold it on to Estee Lauder in like 1999 and then built a new one called Jo Loves. And she was just so like, one of the things that she said that I really took away from was um, never give up on your bad days because you won't give up on your good days anyway. So it was just a re she was so inspirational, such a lovely person and yeah. Go check out Jo Malone, she was just so cool. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna do some work and potentially go to bridge, I need to eat something so I can go out and get some food, or might make something, but someone's taken my saucepan, I can't find it, so I need to go investigate where that's gone. <laughs> so we haven't spoken in, I don't even remember the last time we spoke. Um, oh, that was when I last spoke to you after seeing Jo Malone. So today I went to at the Bodley, so I first went to the Oxford Union to use the library because I want to work in a different space and then I decided to meet up with Lucy later after having lunch and then we worked in the Duke Humphreys Library which is part of the Bodley but if you've ever seen Harry Potter, which you probably have, um, if you remember the bit where there's the restricted section which has all this lovely bays, um, that used to not actually be open to like students to work in but they opened it I think a year ago. Um, so yeah, we worked in there. It's kind of funny because you're not allowed to take bags, you're not allowed to wear jackets because it's got like really rare first edition books and stuff that you can't even touch. They all have like sensors and stuff on them. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's so much hassle going but we wanted to go anyway. So they literally give you like a clear bag to put your stuff and you'd put all your stuff in a locker. You could take a laptop. Earlier there was this rumour that you couldn't take pens in but you can take pens because they don't want the ink to stain anything. But yeah, no, that was really cool. Worked there for a couple of hours. Um, I was working on the reading for next week's essay. And you're all probably thinking that you just finished an essay, how are you already working on the next one? Um, usually, because I only have one essay a week, I would probably start the reading on Saturday. Um, it takes me about two days to do reading, and it'll probably take me a day to write, so that's about three to four days working on an essay. Um, but this week, apparently the reading's a lot more, and also, I don't know if I told you, but I'm part of um, the Finance Lab. So what the Finance Lab is, is the program, it's actually called the Jackson Program, and it's run by the Side Business School. Can you hear that? It's basically a program meant for MBA students, um, or master's students affiliated with the Said Business School. And they like teach you all the sort of techniques that you need to get into finance in terms of valuation and modeling. Um, and they also have lots of ties up, tie up, tie ups with with firms. So they come every week. So last week we had Morgan Stanley and Bank of America come in and do case studies and go through a transaction and explain the process of how it began and the valuation techniques and things like that. So 
they also have weekend classes so not only have I got my degree to do but I've also got these extra classes to do which I signed up for and had to like sit exams in order to qualify to be on it so I'm really really grateful but also it is very time consuming um but yeah so th that means this weekend from 11 a.m so I thought it was earlier but it's actually 11 a.m to 6 p.m Saturday and Sunday I've got classes and workshops so like that means my weekend is gone. I don't actually have time to work on this essay, so I need to get as much reading as I could done today. So I read two out of the five texts, so got a decent amount done, but that means I'm gonna, probably gonna have to do some reading in the morning tomorrow and in the evening when I get back when I'm probably gonna be exhausted. And the business school just works really differently. So for example, like you have US suits to all the business school, like all the finance lab stuff and things like that. It's a bit weird, but it's really interesting. And I'm so like glad and so happy that I've been given the opportunity to learn stuff outside of my course. Because um, unlike the American university system where you can just take classes in anything you can't hear So I'm really glad that I can take classes in things that could help me in my career as well alongside all the computer science philosophy as well So yeah, right now I'm juggling computer science philosophy and finance. So this is quite a busy degree <laughs> um, But yeah, so that's what I've got you lined up for tomorrow. Oh, and I didn't even tell you so I really want to watch quick. Uh, this is me rambling. I never really do this but lots to tell so today I really wanted to watch Crazy Rich Asians and I've been asking everyone to go for like quite a while now and no one wanted to go so I just went alone. I went to watch Crazy Rich Asians and it was amazing. I'm kind of happy that I went alone because I feel like I it was one of those movies that I didn't realise I'd love and loved. That's exactly what happened last year when I went to watch Call Me By Your Name alone. I'm so glad I went to watch it alone because it was just something I needed to do myself. Um, yeah, Crazy Rich Asians was amazing. Absolutely love it. If you haven't seen it, I fully recommend it. Can't believe it was an all BME cast. It was just fantastic. Such a good movie. Like, just amazing. Like, love it, love it, love it to death. So, go and watch the movie. Um, but yeah. Um, and if you have seen the movie, tell me what you think down below. But yeah, I've got some reading to do. So now, not only have I got essay reading to do, I've also got pre-reading for the workshop tomorrow. So I'm going to do the workshop pre-reading right now. And then go to bed because I'm exhausted and tomorrow's gonna be a busy day and I also want to try and go to the gym in the morning so I have to sleep on time so I'll speak to you guys later bye <laughs> Never catching cases, why they faces look so BMO. Why the